guys happy Sunday I am here at church waiting to go into church and hopefully you guys are having a great Sunday I woke up with a little bit of a headache I didn't take anything I just come straight to church so hopefully it will get rid of itself during church so I got my coffee and I am rearing to go hopefully you guys are having a good Sunday I will talk to you later Hey guys, I'm in the car wash right now after church, so that's what I'm doing y'all. I got a headache right in the back of my head, but alright, I'm going to let you go because it's going to get loud in here, so I will see you when I get home. Hey y'all, this is what I'm going to have for my first meal of the day. Plain Greek yogurt, or regular yogurt, I don't know. Yogurt with stevia and frozen blueberries, I'm using up my frozen blueberries two eggs with some cheese on top and my keto everything bagels with sour cream and chive cream cheese and some green tea that's what i'm gonna have all right y'all talk to you later well, i'm gonna have a bowl of sugar-free ice cream all right talk to you later hey guys i tried to lay down and take a nap after i had lunch but it didn't work but i did have to take um, sinus medicine and I had to take migraine medicine to get rid of my headache so for the most part it's gone and I may or may not go out and get um, some coke Splenda coke or whatever you want to call it to help with the headaches for this week or I might wait till tomorrow we'll see but for now the headache is at bay so that's good I am working on, but I do have a twitch in this eye. I've been getting twitches in my eyes. And it's supposedly low on vitamin, but I don't know if it has something to do with my headaches or not. But, we'll see. But I am working on videos right now, so, yeah. That's what I'm doing, y'all. Hopefully you're having a great day. And today's a beautiful day. It's 95 out, so it's a good day. But no nap today, so I'm just doing some work. Alright y'all, talk to you later. Hey guys, this is what I'm going to have for dinner. Coleslaw. And that Santa Fe chicken casserole with a little bit of nutritional yeast and sour cream on top. And then I have my stevia um, raspberry lemonade. Alright y'all, that's what I'm going to have for dinner. And I will chat at you later. Hey guys, I'm going to have a small dish of sugar-free ice cream after dinner here. Alright y'all, I will talk to you later. Hey guys, I am going to make key lime coconut cupcakes. I got this recipe offline, but I am altering it a little bit. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some cupcakes. Okay y'all, we're going to start with the wet ingredients in here first. And so, let's see, coconut oil. We need a half a cup of coconut oil. I'm using organic coconut oil. And mine hasn't been opened yet. And because my house is very warm, my coconut oil is not hard, it is solidified. So I, I don't my half a cup is in the dishwasher, so I'm gonna use a fourth cup. So I'm doing half a cup of coconut oil, so I'm gonna do two of these. I'm gonna have to clean up my coconut oil mess. cup of coconut oil and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla which I'm eyeballing it y'all know that and let's see a half a cup of milk I'm doing coconut almond milk yeah I'm doing it with this one so I'm gonna do two of these because I'm my half covers in the dishwasher We got it. 
We're doing three tablespoons of key lime juice. That's two. sure we don't have any shell. So that's two eggs, y'all. Let's double check for shells. No shells. Put those in there. I'm making a mess, as always. I'm going to mix this up a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the dry ingredients. Okay, y'all. While that is mixing, I'm going to go ahead and put in a cup of sugar. I'm going to speed it up in the actual cupcake. And 
then I'm going to go ahead and dish this out into the cupcake. Um, my brain just went dead, y'all. Into the cupcake pan in the little cupcake papers and put it in the oven. I went ahead and added a little bit more coconut milk even after the fat. It seemed a little thick just with the extra stuff that I had added into it. It still seems a little thick. Um, but with all of the extra coconut and all that stuff, I didn't want it to be too thick for the batter. It still seems a little thick, but we're going to just experiment it with this. Um, I put like an extra cup of coconut milk in total to make up for the coconut that I added to the batter and it being coconut flour. So we are going to experiment with this batch and then if it next time needs more of the coconut milk, then that's what we'll do. But we're going to go from here and perfect it to our way of baking. I'm going to go ahead and put this in there and I'll show you. Okay, y'all. I've got the muffins. Muffins. The cupcakes filled. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. Set the timer for 20 25 minutes. Oops, that's temperature rolling. Whoops. There we are, y'all. I'll check them in a little while. Hey guys, I pulled the cupcakes out of the oven and now they've got to cool before I can make the frosting and put them on. Alright, talk to you later. Hey guys, I'm going to make the frosting and I put my cream cheese in there, so it wasn't a, quite a full one. I'm going to do a fourth cup of coconut oil, a one and a half teaspoon of lime juice, one and a half cups of sugar, and one cup of coconut. Hey guys, here is the key lime coconut cupcakes finished. I'm not going to taste them tonight, it's late. So I will try them tomorrow and let you know how they turned out. Alright y'all, talk to you later.